Wars and those who fight them never change. That makes their intentions easy to read. To the north in Zay was a warlord, boasting of strength beyond even my own. He was the first to fall. Ezekiel, my faithful steward, told me of the growing corruption in his homeland of Napata, a land southwest of Dongola. We cast down their walls, and their riches became our own. In between wars, I set off to Jerusalem. There, I became more steadfast in my faith and was soon rewarded for it. I met a woman, a woman who would soon become my wife, known for her beauty and intelligence. Now princes, <laughs> they can be arrogant. While the Sultan of the Tulanid favored me, his son had other designs. And we left them with the bitter taste of defeat. To the southeast of Napata was Ghazali, home to an important monastery to our people. Their leader was a known partner to the corrupt steward of Napata. That brought us to the dwarf lord of Shamir to the east. His army fell quickly, and finally we could see Abu Hamad. However, their wealth afforded them many mercenaries to block my objectives. Through might and faith, we eventually won, and the nearby land of Kurgus was conquered too, with a wife, child, and many lands. We have built a strong foundation. Now, my council. This is our first council meeting, and I welcome all of those who have come from near and far and invite you to speak your mind. With pleasantries out of the way, we will now begin this meeting. Constantine, I would be happy to accommodate you myself should you ever decide to arrive here. But with your advice to take the land to the Red Sea coast, you were right. With trade with the east firmly in our grasp, we would make quite the profit and of course I'm sure it would benefit a tradesman such as yourself. Go with God, Constantine. Tajir, I thank you greatly for this insight into the Abbasids. I will be sure that His Majesty knows of this information. You also speak of what we work on continuously. Alliances and consolidating land conquered is priority for the time being. Even now, I have sent out many letters searching for skilled and capable individuals such as yourself, perhaps. I invite you to visit the palace when you get a chance. Lord Samson, it is an honor to be invited here by yourself. Those of your bloodline have defended the Coptic faith for generations. I have traveled far to answer your summons. While I traveled, I saw the suffering of our people under the cruelty of the Caliphate. I know that you and your council will unite our faith and one day strike back against the Muslim tyrants. It is a pleasure to have you here, Sir Kaitol. I have heard of your pilgrimages and I personally recommended to our Lord that he invite you to this court. I believe that you will be of great help in the years to come. For now, until you are settled, feel free to stay in my residence. With that, our council is now concluded. We shall move on to the story. Ours is a story of perseverance, and patience too. We can't beat the lion just yet. For now, we need to gather our pack, we need to gather power, before we can take on our ultimate foe, the Abbasids over here. Our goal is to eventually take over every holy site that should belong to the Coptic people, to the Coptic church. The Abbasids took over. The Tolanids, though different to us, they were not indifferent to us. I was a friend of their leader, who is no longer the Sultan. But thankfully, he is friendly to me. Hopefully that means the Abbasids will not come for me for some time. Now his son, he's not a big fan of me, but that's okay. I had to teach him a lesson. If we have a look over here, we can see how much money I'm currently bringing in. 15.3 gold. I was told that I should potentially conquer over to the Red Sea. That to me is a very good idea. These people all share our religion. If we want to challenge those of a different religion, of a different land, we need to unite all Coptic people here. Then we may move on. And in time, we could even move over here to the west and conquer more lands too. Imagine the power and money that we would have. We would be able to take on potentially anyone, 
Even Wagudu, over to the west, they have over 5,000 men. The Abbasids over here, 6,965 men. We could challenge what they have. He's only 34. He's going to be around for a very long time. My hope, and I cannot rely on hope, is that the Byzantine Empire goes after them. They have more men, and potentially more power. Wait, your father died at 31? He was a pretty good leader. He was killed in battle. I wonder who killed him. I have no idea, but good luck to you. I hope you do well. Now, when it comes to what I want to do, I should probably move over here. They are Sunni. They do have allies. Abdu Abdallah, the monster. Oh, look at him. That is one scary fellow. I've got over 2,000 men, but we need to be careful. They're allied. Together, they would heavily outnumber me, which means I can't go after them yet. Arwa over here, they have only 1,500 men. I should be able to beat them. Which means for now, I need to sway you, Al Mutaz. We cannot trust him, but I shall do my best. He is callous, cynical, and arbitrary. He's greedy, too. And you are not a good guy. I have got to watch out for him. But you've got a great beard, and I can respect that. So down over here is where we're going to go. I'll have to find him somehow. Which means I need a claim. Now, worst case scenario, we've got to plan for eventualities. Over here, I could say, hey, I'll join you, but I've got to be able to keep my religion. And if I do that, I could play the long game. We might have to. I don't know yet, but we shall see. But hopefully not. Wadi Milk, I'm coming for you now. They do not share my religion. They have over 300 men and one ally. Right over here in Upper Milk. That means they're going to have over 500 and over here over 300. That's okay. I could fight you now. I've got a proper claim. We're not going to make it a religious war. Not today. I've got the money and power. If I can stay alive, my money is going to fund many new projects. And here we go now. We have an impasse, but here I've got the knowledge on how to employ their strategies. Do not worry. We can do everything together. The details of which are not important. But off we go now. I don't need to go after their leader. We do have skirmishers who are currently rallying up. They're not full up yet, but that's okay. They have five champions. I have eight. They have a really good one. 18 prowess, right? That's a lot. Time to retreat for now. I'm known for my dedication to my faith, which is quite nice. I lost over here 17 men. Only 17 men. That's incredible. We're about to win. They had another tiny group come after me. Oh, he was killed. Yoan Ace, you got him. He was a very young man, too. Let's have a look again. Two champions killed. Oh, wow. <laughs> Not bad. Two Kubris dead. Hold on, same age? Really? What a coincidence. That's pretty weird. They do have 44 men over here. And Ezekiel again? I've never had one steward earn me so much money. Another 105 gold. Now, if I want to, I can build whatever I want. I'll let time pass on by. And what we'll do for now, we'll try to build what we can. We need to have a bit more power, don't we? Mud brick towers over here. I could use more money, but I have a lot already. Take those for now. We could use more defenses. A new fort level, whatever we can get. They're coming back to fight me. And over here, I need a new perk. We'll go pick up Kingsguard. Now I can have four more knights on my side. Four more ducks. Oh, I'm trying to compliment you? I'll talk about your ambition. Sure, we can do that. And there they go again. They're trying very hard. But it's over. I've caught so many of them, too. The war is not over yet. Let's come back over to my prison where I've got a lot of people here. I mean, a lot of people. Wow. But none of you are very good from what I can tell. If you were, I would recruit you. That's how I can keep a rather talented court. Now, you've got 13 prowess, which is really not too bad. I could take you. Come on, then. Let's go. Who knows? I might need you. And if not me, maybe someone else around me. They're fighting together very well. No, I'm not going to kill them. I'm not going to do it. I'm not here to kill every single person I fight. I've got things to do. And we're done. We won. I now control Wadi Milk. Chayel, good job. You were improved. Isak, you did a great job. 
He's got another child over here. Well, look at that. She is a bit sickly, but hopefully she'll make it. Done. Look at that victory. I've got some new lands over here. I should probably give it to someone who's rather talented. It could be you, my friend. These lands are not safe, but you're a very good steward and you do have a wife. You can take it. Here you go. Enjoy now. He's a vassal of mine, and I do believe I can trust him. Now, what about you? I need to cast his belly. All right, give it some time. I'll get more money and we'll go get them. Now, if I get 500 gold, I could create a kingdom. We could wait for a bit. I could do that. Oh, how badly I want to kill you. 2,900 gold. He's got so much money. There's no way for me to beat him then. He's going to have mercenaries too. I wish I could. I'm still surrounded by people who could easily crush me. And that's terrifying. We'll have to take our time. Ezekiel, let's be quite honest here. You're my golden goose. You lay eggs of gold constantly. Wherever you go, wherever you walk, people follow. Because my god, man. Another 105 gold. My Mysticos over here, he's pretty far away, but I can trust him. I know he's going to do a good job. He's right over here in their court, finding out secrets. Right now, he hasn't found out too much, but that's okay. If I wanted their leader killed, who knows what I could do if I knew a sufficient amount of secrets. And over here, he's got over 11,000 men, over 10,000 for levies and many other powerful fellows, which is bad for me, really bad for me. All right, upper milk, I'm about to take you over. There we go, see it done. Now, we can easily attack again. I like that. I could have done a religious war, but I don't want other people to join in. I'm trying to avoid that. I want to quickly conquer, that way I'm not caught with my pants down fighting another faction. Okay, here we go now, I'm gonna get everyone together. Look at the amount of men I have over here. I don't really need that many, do I? Not really, no. All of you can go home. I've got five knights over here. I'll be fine, thank you. Or five ducks. Another battle again. I could go after Lucas. He's actually pretty good. Sure. I could capture him. I tried to. It didn't work out. I've got a lot of stress in my life, and we are done. I got him. I could wait to besiege Upper Milk, but I'm not going to. I just want to move on. It didn't take long to win here, and I would like to move on. Okay, my dear friend. You get even more territory. Great. You should be happy. I want my 500 gold, and we have expanded even further. Now, I also want to claim over here, currently you're fighting in a holy war. Ah, he's going to take more territory. That's okay. That's very good. I don't want to kill him. You are still very much alive, unfortunately, and he's fighting other wars too. We're all trying to take all the minor powers around us, it seems, which means I need to move a little bit faster. Now over here, we've got a fellow who's got 2,400 men. I'll have to watch out for him. I do believe I could take him down. Oh, it's very likely. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I'll get a claim right over here. That should do it. I could take East Darfur. 1,500 men. You've got an ally as well. But I shall wait for now. Yeah, it shouldn't take me too long. I don't believe so anyway. I'll need another leader, which is fine. Eventually, you'll have your own duchy. And we'll have another one over here. If I keep on conquering, it's a relatively safe area to conquer into. And I'm sure you can see why as well. There's only so many ways to get in. I could take over the west over here and just defend, then move back over here to the east, which I think is probably a very good idea. Now, they do not share my religion. Eventually, I'll want to convert all of them, and I've got many prisoners to manage as well. A kingdom. One day, I'll make my kingdom. I just need my money right now. We'll come back over here to my court. If I can't ransom you, you are no use to me at all. Bucephalus, trusty stallion. A renowned trainer has approached me after hearing rumors of my mighty stallion Bucephalus and offers her services. All I ask in return is a small compensation. What do we need over here? Interesting. He needs to learn. He needs to learn to move a little bit more swiftly. 
where he needs to be stronger. We shall say endurance. These are tough lands and I just want a better horse. Stress loss up. Oh, I love that. That's actually really good for me because I'm getting rather stressed out. Normally I would wait to get my kingdom, but for now, let's go on a hunt. It's about time. Illegal prey. Oh, people here are trying to do that. Now, instead, I could take the animal and I could give them fines. They could potentially be outraged for 10 years. That to me is not worthwhile. Instead, I could say, hey, look, you're pretty good at fighting. So I get poacher training for 10 years, plus two to my prowess. I'm now at 34. I have only one child right now. Hopefully in time, I'll have even more than that. I could give you some money. There, have some money. I'll become a king one day. Oh, good job. You're finding out about more lovers, which again is all about having people to support me on a quest in the future. And now I'm back from my hunt. 150 prestige. I'm not ready to go after you yet, am I? No, not yet. I've got half a year to go. Okay, my friend, you are scaly, but you are very, very good at fighting. Look at that. Sure, come join me. We have another ducks. Even better. Let's have a look over here. Who are you? Oh, you've gained even more power. He's a proper ruler, 3,500 men. Look at how much he's been able to conquer. Yeah, we've got our three kingdoms here. We've got to watch out. You two can marry. Akim, Anthelia, sure, be married. It is done. Now, over here, I have a new perk I can pick up. I could get Dread, Courtship. That wouldn't be a bad thing. Peacemaker could be very good, but we'll come over here. I don't have a siege weapon yet, but that's okay. I would like a new regiment, but I can't get more. Not yet. I've got to wait. And we also need to wait for a claim. You know, while we wait on that claim over here, why don't we go after another area? I could use more piety, sure, but I could take a county. Now, before I go after them, they've got how many men? 1400, they have one ally, and they probably have the money, oh, they do have the money for mercenaries over here. Let them come to me, then I'll go after them. All right. Now what's over here? Oh, Ioannis, what are you doing? He's had an affair. He doesn't like his grumpy wife. He's had one child with her, a daughter. We've got so many daughters here. All right, fine. I'll put her in prison, but I'll let her go. Pay me 10 gold. There's your fine. Okay, everyone get together. You've got to. And there's my claim. Good. I'll be able to fight right after if I want to. Hold on. They're not here now. Here's what we'll do. We'll divide back up and we'll wait for now. I don't want to besiege until I know where they're at because they could easily move to Bayuda. Oh, hello there. Look who it is. We've got some enemies here coming after me. All right. My life just became a little bit more interesting and I had good words to say about you too. No longer do I have that. All right, wait over here for now. I might need to hire some mercenaries. I'm not too sure, but I might have to. I could try to get a really powerful ally. I'm not a king yet, but I could do that. Let's find someone who's got a lot of power. 1,800 men? That could help out a lot. All right, we shall do that then. They're not gonna actually get married, but I've got to have some help currently. Let's have a look over here. Come help me out. There's a holy war. All right, very good. Even a few men like that should make a big difference, I think. Yeah, they're right there. Okay, Darfur, they're not coming after me yet. I'm waiting to see where my enemies are coming from. Ah, right over here. Soothing the pain. While I was at the market with Asta, her attention was caught by a criminal chained in the pillory. Yeah, be compassionate. Do that, my dear child. Okay. My wife is not pregnant. Evidently, the idea of a challenge excites me a lot. Here's what we need to do. We need some mercenaries, I think. I've got a lot of gold. I can hire some pretty good mercenaries. Here we go. Camel riders and mace men. I'll take them. 1,100 men. I wish it was more, but it is not. All right. 
Let's get everyone together. 4,000 men total. I've got my defenses over here. We just need to go beat them in battle. I could actually hire more. I might have to. Let's have a look. Oh, all of you have been hired, unfortunately, and I do not want to go into debt. That would be a very, very bad idea. Hold on, who's commanding? You're commanding? No, I've got to command. Oh, really? I'll probably lose if I command? You're kidding. Well, here we are now. We're fighting. Tajir was wounded. I like him so very much. Do not die on me. Okay, you betrayed me. And I'm angered by it. Let's go after someone over here. The mayor is actually pretty good at fighting. I'll go after him. I could capture him. No. Kill him. He's dead now. Be gone. Okay, we're back into the battle. Things are not going too well for me. They're holding on. But we need some help. They have way too many men. Look at all those regiments over there. But now I've got reinforcements on my side, so I've got a pretty good shot at winning. Hopefully. Kanun, good job. You maimed the enemy commander. We've won a battle now. A major battle at that. They came back after me. What a choice. And here I thought they would be okay. I lost over 700 men. I gained 292 fame. 146 devotion. Alright. And over here, Lucas killed 84. Ioannis over here, 70. If I've got that name pronounced right, let me know. That would be great. I'm trying my best, alright? Now we just need to wait. Or we could come over here and beat another army, which we probably should. I don't know where... Ah, there they are. I'll have to come back down over here to beat them too. Naturally, they came after me while I was busy. Ah, the dragon hearts, huh? Sabah. How strong are you, Sabah? Doesn't matter. I was injured, unfortunately. I didn't win. Thought maybe I could win, but that's all right. I'm going to keep on fighting. I'm currently how old? 36, and I have been treated by my doctor. I've got an incredible doctor. And we have won again. The Battle of Simna. Those lands now belong to me. I'm kidding. I wish. But they do not. And that's okay. Let's come on down. Are you any good? 12. I could recruit you. Let's try it out. Ah, no, I can't do that. I was hoping to. Well then, off we go. We're coming back down to fight another battle against another faction. I lost only 149. I did gain a lot of fame and even devotion. I need that devotion. Oh no, gold. Well, you were never good to begin with. What a shame. I caught many of them too. Alright, they're going to be back, I know that much, but so far we are winning. They've yet to actually conquer any of my lands. Hopefully we can catch their army in time. That's my big hope. I think we can. Come on. There we go. And Al Mutaz just won? Wait, really? You beat the Byzantine Empire. You've got 12,000 men. Oh, not only did you beat them, you whooped them. Oh dear. That is not good. Sure, I'll take out another guy, like Burr. I'm a legendary blade master now. I'm called the Guardian for a reason. Look at that. 40 prowess. Goodbye to you. He's gone now. I could have recruited him, but that's okay. It's over. And we won. I have another daughter. Wonderful. Kel. Oh, she's a giant too, and very pretty. Tatiana, Krissa. What else do we have? Della. I like that. Della. Okay. We have one over here. That war is over. Very, very good. I needed a good win, and now we have one. I'll need another leader over there. I'll choose someone in just a moment. But let's come back over here. I'm glad I was able to arrange that marriage. That saved me. If not for them, I could have lost 189 over here. They lost over 700. Let's have a look again. 
Constantine, good job, you killed a guy. You did it. Oh, he wasn't very good either. <laughs> oh man. And I caught so many too. All right, back to the front lines again. I'm going to ransom you for 30 gold and you for another 30 gold. Be gone, go home. Oh, they are back. I've got to get more men. Oh, I've got a woman in my court here who I did recruit. She was a guest and she's evidently beautiful. Only 32 years old. She has a child and I'm going to marry her off in a matrilineal marriage. That way we can get another powerful warrior. He's got 22 for prowess. I'll take him. And by the way, you're the stepfather to a very ugly baby. Oh my God. Oh, he's like Benjamin Button. I hate it. All right, let's come over here. I do feel bad for him, but I do hate it as well. Now, let's come back. I haven't found a new leader I want yet. I've got people I do trust. Ezekiel, do you want some lands? He does. There you go. Now you've got territory. I'll get more for you later on. I want everyone to have their own duchy, and over here, that should be possible. Okay. I've got my men together. I've got over 300 gold. I would like more mercenaries, if you don't mind. I really, really would. We shall take these over here. Done. 728 men. I wanted to become a king, but I'll have to wait. Yeah, come back over here. You found out many secrets over there. I'm not as worried. They have more men, too. I wish they didn't, but they do. I wonder if I can bring in more. I have no idea. How is he a better enemy commander than me? Really? All right, well, off I go. 80 more men, which is not a lot, but I'll go in anyway. Okay, we're off to go fight. They have friends on the way and many, many champions. I've got to attack, I think. The enemy commander's over here, Khalil. Go after him. Amir, how powerful are you? We've got over here, let's see, Amir, he's got 22. I'll go after him. I am very powerful. Here's some gold, by the way. Enjoy. Okay. Now, I'll show you how I have an axe. I haven't won yet. I want to. What else do I have? Strike, parry, repost. Where's my Blade of Dongla ability? We shall see in time. But we did win. And he's dead. Okay. Now for the commander. Hopefully they're all gone. I was injured, unfortunately. I did not beat him in a battle. Shoot. I'm no longer wounded. And now we've got a new trait to pick up. Good. What do I want over here? Ooh, there we go. More supply capacity. I'll take that. Thank you. They're making my life very tough. And Kanun, good job. You killed a chieftain. Chieftain Hamdan. Now, I can head over here and beat another army. Or maybe not. They're telling me I can't, which to me is incredible. I feel like I can. I could beat anyone over there. But they keep telling me, no, you can't do it. All right, I'll go join in. They're getting away, unfortunately. I can't chase them down in time. I was hoping I would be able to. That's all right, we'll come back. I'm gonna keep on defending. What a tough battle for me. All right, everyone here needs to break up for now. We'll be back in just a little while, but not yet. All right, who's over here? Oh, look at you, 23. You were hurt. I'm going to have you get married. You can marry her. She's 22. She's a bit younger. You want to have children? You all should want to have children. All right, so you've got your lands over here, Ezekiel. You've made me a lot of money. You've got your heir as well. Hey, good for you, buddy. Good for you. We can actually have a white piece over here, which for me is a good thing. I've got to gain more power. Let's take it. I no longer want to fight them. It's over now. They were unable to take over, which is a good thing for me. And I've got to take more lands myself. Like over here. It shouldn't be too difficult. We're going to have a brief break to earn more money. I'm getting a lot of money. I've got to get even more, especially if I need to hire more mercenaries again. My allies I need to keep for right now. But we've beaten our enemies, and I would like to potentially go after him. 
Okay, so you're right over here. Here's what I'm going to do. We're going to find out any secrets we can over here if possible. That would be great. If you're able to do that, and if we're able to kill them, that would be even better. Ezekiel, you've got a new job. Go convert these people. They are your people. And for you, 274 years. All right, you know what? That might have to wait. Four years to get a claim. That's a long time. I do not like that. Let's get a claim over here. I feel like we should do that. And we can do that. All right, so we've got a lot of prisoners and no one is going to pay me, unfortunately. We don't have any good commanders to really pick up, nor fighters. Wait, he's actually pretty good. Hold on now. I like you. Come join me. That's how we stay powerful. All right. Time to gather up more wealth again and potentially piety in time. Oh, look at that. Our neighbor's pretty weak right now. We'll go after him. We should. Okay. We'll take over that chieftain. Sure. Ezekiel wants all of these locations to belong to him, which is understandable. I've got mercenaries to use too. So I've got a pretty decent amount of men. Let's get everyone together real quick. It might take a little bit, but that's okay. Now we're all together. I want all of you over here. Your army shall move here, yours over here. And we have one more army to move in. Right there. No attrition at all either, great. Look at that, he's been cut off, he's been surrounded. They're still fighting a war and they're losing too. That's okay. Blessed are the meek, you want to be humble? Well, that's my daughter. Look at her, humble, bossy, and compassionate. Now, the bossy trait is only a childhood trait. That isn't bad at all. What a lovely young lady. All right, now, your army can come over here. You've got five champions under your command. Go beat them in battle. It won't take too long. No, not at all. You got them. Well, good job. Finish them off and we can move on. Togobo now belongs to me and I'll come over here to besiege even more. We'll take over every single location, then I'll go after their capital. Now they're only fighting me in war. All right, I've got to buffer up my defenses, I believe, because I know they're coming back. Again, if I've got to swear to them, I'll do it. I'm not gonna let my people die. We can always come back, but I'm trying to avoid that if I can. All right, I own you now. Come on down, right over here. We can beat them again if we want to. Okay, my wife is talking to me. My lord, it has come to my attention that there is a rare opportunity to invest in Napata. Interesting, we could do that. I could gain prestige, but over here, that would be more taxes and development growth. Sure, we'll try it out. Oh, it fell through. Oh well, it happens. I gave it a shot. Such is life, you know. Okay, we beat that army too. No, keep on trying to find secrets, Tajir. You're not done yet. Alright, you belong to me. One person died. Let's have a look right over here. I've got way too many prisoners. I'll let them go after I'm done here, but not yet. Okay, you're coming down too. Right over here. You'll move down. All right, good, you're besieging. You weren't besieging before, but now you are. A forgotten dream. Oh, forget about it. I'm not worried about a dream. There goes another army. We'll come down over to the east and take over. We have Masa, and they have a few men too. We caught one army. I'm not worried about watching these battles play out. The mercenaries should soon be gone. Oh, look at that. A new claim. I'll take it. I do want my kingdom eventually, but come on back. We've got more enemies to beat up. There and done. No, keep on looking for now. If not, I'll bring you to a new court. We took over another location. I mean, if we have a brief look at what we've done, we've gained a lot of fame and devotion. All right, we caught you. And over here, we lost over 200 men, but we won again. Chael, good job. All right, another killing. We caught them all. I'll look through them and find if they have like any good leaders or champions. 
then they'll join me. But look at that. That's a lot of land. I'll give it to one person over here. It's got to be you, my friend. There you go, Ezekiel. You've got your new territory. He leads over 400 men. He's got 100 Nubian archers and a decent amount of money. That is really not too bad. My mercenaries are going to be gone soon. Oh, hold on. I can make money from all of you. Really? Let's come over here. Ransom all. Four gone now. Now that's a lot of money. I like that. Good, good, good. The rest of you may go. There. I've already been through them. Those were the new ones who made me money. Okay. I could fight a new war. I'm not going to just yet. We just need to wait for a moment. What about my neighbors? They're very, very powerful. I've got to watch out for them. All right, here's a patriarch. Look at Egypt alone. You've got over 800 men. The Abbasids are doing fine. Wait, hold on, he died? He died of what? Al-Mutaz is gone. He died from his wounds. Okay, that's really good for me. They have a lot, <laughs> well, they outnumber me heavily. I can't beat them yet, but that's a lot better than having to face potentially 15,000 men. Now they have 8,000 men. Okay. That is much, much better for me. Maybe they're not going to last. They do have over 2,000 gold, so they could hire many mercenaries. I would like to become a king, so I might wait to get my kingdom before I actually try to fight a new war. I've got the gold now. We can do it. The kingdom of Makuria. There we are. I am now a mighty, mighty king. I've got a bit more authority over my people. Have a look at that. When it comes to my kingdom, it doesn't really give me the right to too many more lands outside of what's been conquered by, well, my enemies up north. However, I've got some good news, or I should say good news, everyone. Over here, we've got a young man who's in charge. He's only 14. His father passed on. Well, he's under attack by another prince. Look at that. They're fighting a little civil war. That is a really good thing for all of us here. That means we've got a chance and he's busy. I could go after other neighbors. I would love to go after another kingdom if I could. But I need a lot more piety for that. Now, if I go after a kingdom, what about Egypt? Oh, that would be incredible. If I could take over all of that up here, we would have so much power. But I don't know if I'll be able to do that. It really depends on if the Abbasids break up. And even then, I've got to watch out. They have many children. And of course, because of that, many alliances too. Now, when it comes to warring, I want to conquer more down over here. I can't fight you yet, but I can fight all of you. However, I only have so much piety. I could use it anyway. Yeah, we might as well. Let's do it. I can be you. I've got my soldiers together. Okay, now all of you meet up. It shouldn't be too difficult to beat them. We might not even need our entire army. That's very likely. Let's get everyone together before we make a good decision, though. Sure, I can lead. Or you can lead. But no, it's got to be me. Goodbye now. I've got only one champion with me. Oh, I don't like that. Okay, hold on. Get down over here. Hopefully they'll make it in time. What's over here now? Over 700 men. They're losing it. I could go after them right now. They've got a mercenary. 30 prowess. Wow. I'll go beat him right now. Sure. Rahad, I'll fight him too. It'll give me more experience. I've got to watch out. A low chance for me to be hurt. Sure. And over here, he's really going for me. All right, I'll try Strike Perry Repost. Then again, he's having a tough time. I haven't won yet. Finally, my blade dance again. I won. Goodbye to him. I'm not going to read, you know, out the entire duel format every single time. Otherwise, we'll be here forever. Their leader is quite good. Oh, boy. I'll do it. I'll try it out. I was injured. It goes to show you that I can't beat everyone even though I want to. But look at me, 39 years old now. I'm still going. And we beat them all. They had eight champions. I had only two. What a shame. But that's all right. No, I have everyone here. Thank you. We lost over 120. 
They lost over 400. And here's a camp dispute. I'll deliver a speech. Oh, he lost an eye. What a shame for him. There we are. A resolution. I gained 150 prestige, more experience, and they like me more. My glory is widely known, too. Well, how about that? I am becoming better. Stronger. I'll make a new duchy in time, but not yet. I've got too many men over here, so here's what I'm going to do. Divide up real quick. I want another army to move out. Your army can move over here. We've got plenty of supplies currently. I think we'll be okay. What about my stallion? We've got a trainer here who wants to train up my stallion. I've got the money. Why don't we work on endurance? Sure, we can do that. All right. I've got a very enduring warhorse. Stress should not be a factor anymore. That to me is very important to handle. Wait, hold on now. All of you are dumb. I want to go kill them. Give me one moment here. I need to finish my siege battle. Oh, Asta, you finally killed him. Well, look at that. We can all set out to accomplish our dreams if we really try hard. And we stab hard, too. All right, I've got your brother, Bug. All right, Bug, you stay in your little cage for right now. Your prison cell. Your family... Well, they're done for. Goodbye. I've got your lands. It's like having your nose, but a bit more sad. I right, come over here, too. Now, Isak, I've got better commanders. That's true, but I'm not going to fire him. He has served me for a long time, and he's done a good job, I think. All right, we're beating their army. They have more champions, but that's okay. I've got one over here, 24 prowess. Not bad at all. I need to give away more land again, which I can do. All right, they're all done for. When they're gone, when they're out of my lands, then I can leave. Now, hold on, Ezekiel, what are you doing? You've got your men up probably to go after that raiding army. Okay, come over here, because we need to be able to disband. Get over here, there we go, perfect, all right. And you're done with your job, Ezekiel, very good. But you've got to go again. Yeah, come over here. Promote our culture everywhere. When it comes to our religion, I might have to wait for a time. I would like a proper county. I could ally Arwa. That's true. I'll think about it. I've got a lot more power, but they could help me out. Over here, we've got a major enemy. Okay, you're allied to someone who's got 1,400 men. And over here, 1,400 men again. Understood. His kingdom, I want. But I need a lot more piety for that. Piety, I do not have currently. But we can try to come over here, I suppose. We have a look at what he has. Yeah, come over here. Do what you can. A good duchy claim would be ideal. And I'm trying to make more money, too. Yeah, we easily beat them. I only needed two champions, really. Now we can hold on and wait for a bit. I could also come over here to attack more of Darfur. It's a great way for me to raise up my power. Here's our new Count Constantine. He agreed to convert from his orthodox ways to our own branch of Christianity, and now he's got land. He's not a very pious man, as you can well see, but he's very good at stewardship. He's no Ezekiel, but I believe I can trust him. He's also pretty good at fighting too, and he has a child. He's married into our people. Now, over here my wife was able to earn me 125 gold. That's incredible. And it's about time to look at decisions over here. Wait, we can actually sign the Bakht again. You will invite an emissary from Egypt to negotiate the renewal of terms of trade with Makoria. Beautiful. The Bakht was a trade and non-aggression pact between Nubia and their northern neighbor. Incredible. We can do that right now. It's only 200 prestige. I'll take it. Okay. Amin, an emissary of Egypt, along with his entourage, have arrived to my court in Dongola. The time has come again to consider our obligations under the Bakht with our northern neighbor. The agreement has proved profitable for us in the past, but we must always consider the needs of the people of Makuria before concern for any agreement made by our forebears. The emissary comes bearing gifts from his liege, and placing them before me, he bows with a flourish. After a long and spirited debate with my trade officials, okay. He wants my decision over here. 
If I do that, it'll be renewed for five years. Oh, I like that a lot. He would also leave me alone for a long period of time. There he is, the Patriarch. I could say, forget about it. I could kill him, that would be horrible. Or I could say things are not done yet. I could do that. I could try to win better terms, but I'm not going to. Instead, I shall say, sure, let it continue. Okay, look at that. So now, he's not going to attack me for at least five years, which is really good. I mean, if you have a look at what has happened, he's got a lot of power over here. Yeah, he's back in control. That's incredible. So I've got to watch out for him. Thankfully, he does like me a lot. He did lose his son. Oh... He, quote-unquote, lost a son. Your heir hates me a lot. But look at that. He's not going to come after me for quite some time. He's been wounded, and he likes to smoke a little bit. Sounds about right. Your wife is fairly older. You've got another wife. And many, many children. Wow. But either way, they should hopefully leave me alone. Now, what about you? I can't fight you yet, unfortunately. I need more piety. It's time to go on another pilgrimage. It's been a long time. I've been to Jerusalem. I could go to Antioch. I wonder, where else could I go? Dongola, no. Let's go back again. I think I'll go to Antioch now. And off we go. That way, I'll be able to earn a lot of piety. I am getting older finally, but look at me, 41, 40 prowess, incredible. My wife is again pregnant. And what's over here? What is a little rain to a faithful copt? Look at that, tears of Jesus. That'll give me how much? 250 piety, I need that. Even when on pilgrimage, the priests still hold mass every Sunday. Interesting. It's raining, but who cares? I'm okay. I'm known for my dedication to my faith, which is quite good. And we've made it. Now I can wage a holy war for a kingdom. If I want an easy time, I could go after Arwa, right over here. That would be a very easy time. Sure, they've got allies, but I could beat them. If I go after you, though, you've got more men, but I would need to convert your people. That would be a lot of territory. I'll have to be careful. But I'm back home now. I think I'll wait until I have a child with my wife over here. She's due probably any month. Well, look at that. My beautiful wife had a son. And I'm going to name him after me. He's not only a giant like I am. He's beautiful like his mother. That's a good thing. And there we are. You can carry on my legacy. I've got some money. I should probably raise up another regiment. Yeah. I'll take hoplites over here. 31 damage versus what? 22 of pikemen. I'll take them. Come join me over here. And I'll upgrade you once I have a bit more money. I don't have the money right now, so we've got to wait. If I come after you in a religious war, we're going to be in trouble. I'll have to watch out for that. I might save my kingdom invasion for right now. The Coptic people, or the people of the Coptic faith, were not nearly as numerous. Have a look at that. They're all Sunni over here. That means I would easily be destroyed by their numbers. So I've got to watch out. Now, what we could go after, we could take Arwa. We could go after more local locations that are not nearly as dominant in power and influence. If I took over everything over to the west, I think I would have a lot of money and power. We'll see in time though. Cordofan, I definitely do want your lands too. Sure, we can do that. I'll get all of my men together. I've got plenty of piety now. I've just been giving it thought, and if I go fight them, I don't think we have the numbers to beat them. I wish we did. I would love to have the numbers, but I don't think we have that opportunity. Okay, I've got all of my knights together. Do I need them all now? Maybe not. You've got what you need. Let's go take him out. It shouldn't take too long. Let's make more money too. And off we go. They've got more men than I do. And I'm here for a challenging battle. Let's do it. Okay. Do I get to duel someone? 
They've got someone who's got 21 prowess, which is really good. I could kill him, or I could go after the High Chief, Bolad. Yeah, he's right over here. I'll go after him. And who's over here? Izo. I could send a champion of mine after theirs, but no, I'll go after him. Don't forget, I'm the fastest blade in Dongola. Enjoy that. Time for me to strike, parry, and repost. And again, my blade dance. Oh, and by the way, here's a tip. And I've won. I threw money at him and I won. It's over, he's been killed by me. A fairly strong fellow. I'm now a confident knight. I've got 41 prowess and over here, I'll take out their leader. Or, you know, I could capture him. That's an option too. Done. Okay, we'll finish the battle. Then after that, we'll end the war. And that way we're not having to wait here for too long. All right. That battle is over. We lost how many men? 403, they lost 844. I gained more devotion and fame. Well, very good work, my men. Your lands now belong to me. Beautiful. All right, so we own more territory. I'll give it to you, my dear friend. There. Now you've got more territory. Have a look at that. In time, we'll have another duchy. Darfur. I can't go after you yet. If your leader died, then sure I could, but I'm not going to try to kill him. Not yet. West Darfur. What about you? I could take over everything. I think I want to do that, sure. 100 Piety. I'll get everyone together in maybe a year. Not yet, though. I want to wait for everyone to have a break. And I can make two duchies. I'll do that later. Sure. Now, what about you? You're 50. You don't lead a lot of men considering the size of your kingdom. Mine is larger. But I think I would like to also conquer way down over here. Have a look at that. If we conquered way down over here, who would stop me? Not very many people could. They don't have a lot of power. Now you do. Oh, look at him. Over 3,000 men. Now he's a bit older too, and... Oh! I was wondering what that person was wearing. He's a high shaman. That's really cool. He's a one-legged, one-eyed, severely injured high shaman. Incredible. I did a little thing, by the way. Over here, my daughter came of age, and she's quite educated too when it comes to military affairs. She's honest, humble, and compassionate. What a beautiful young lady. Now, she was never going to marry that previous fellow. That was only for political gain and, of course, military might. Instead, I've gotten her married to a young man. He's not the eldest son of a powerful leader, but the second in line. If we have a look over here, we've got Abwab. They have a lot of power. 1,800 men. His oldest son is rather spindly. His daughter over here is married to the king of Arwa. Really? So they have a lot of power overall. And I thought to myself, maybe the oldest son would pass on. And my daughter was able to marry him through a matrilineal marriage. Which means I now have a claim. Right over here. We've got an incredible claim. Now it's time for a major battle. I'll get everyone together, then we'll go after them. Oh, do you want to help me? You can't. You'll have to fight for him, unfortunately. I do feel bad for you. You should fight for me, but I know that you cannot. You are loyal to a king. I've got hoplites over here who are pretty darn strong. Let's get everyone together. I'll take command and we'll get more supplies too while I take command. My commander advantage, 36 over here. I've got 3,800 men. I can have up to 300 supplies, which is great. Axum came to join in. Very well. Let them do so. I've got over 200 gold right now. They're coming to attack. I'll go get them right away. Oh, don't worry. I'm here. You can't get away. We should be family, but we're not. Their kingdom is by far too weak. We need to take what is weak so that we can make it strong. Now... I don't want to kill my son-in-law's father. We'll just fight them normally. I'm not here to kill them all. I just want a bit of power, okay? Oh, they're all gone now. Only eight survived. That gave me 328 fame. My champions beat them. 
Oh, you died. Poor guy. Let's come down over here and take over what we can. They've got allies, so we'll have more men to fight in time. Delusa, quit trying to kill people, okay? I need you to stop. I really do want to get rid of her, but I can't. All right, let's wait here for a little while. I've got a new perk as well. Let's come look over here. Courtship, I'll take it. When it comes to scheming, I can do a little bit better. 1,600 men, not bad, but not sufficient. I've got Karaba. Let's come over here to fight them. I still have many supplies. I don't believe I'll run out. And look at their lands too. It's quite rich over here. They've got eight knights total. I've got more. I'll go after your mayor, sure. I was injured, unfortunately. Oh, he's not very good. He was lucky. He had a puncher's chance and he did it. I took him out. Their commander is dead too. Oh, he was not very good. He was kind of crazy. He was beautiful, but crazy. Yeah, we got them. Yoannis, good job. I was wounded, but no longer because again, my doctor is brilliant. We've had a very different campaign. It's been military based, sure, but it's been quite different. It's been quite enjoyable. Who's over here? 21. Not bad for your commanding skill. How much money to recruit you? 40 gold. Yeah, come on. Who's able to marry? You are. It's matrilineal. 25 prowess, I'll take him. Now he's here. He's fighting for me. Great. Okay. There's another battle won. The war is about to be over. Let's go beat them in one more battle. I'm leaving. Typhus for my son. Okay. Treat him. What do you mean the choice is up to my son? He's only two. No, treat him now. Let him be okay. Alright, good. He's feeling poor, but hopefully he'll make it. Here's a butterfly. Great, a butterfly. The war is not over yet. My son better not die or I'll be angered. There we go. Look at him. He's a strong kid. I'm very proud of him. 1% more to go. We have beaten them at every single turn. I want a duchy claim if possible. I should be able to get one. I'm not in a big rush. I don't want to fight for a county, not when I've got to fight a war that large. Done. Now I've got many prisoners over here. It's time to do a mass ransom. Seven people total. That's incredible money. Beautiful. Look at all that gold. I can create a few more titles too. Why don't we do that? All right. There's Wadi El Milk. And I'm going to give that to one of my friends right over here. Ioannis, you did a good job. You deserve a new title. There you go. Now you've got a new title. He's going to have many children too. Here's another one, the Duchy of Cordofan. We'll build that one too. That gives me even more prestige. Constantine, three children. Congratulations, my friend. And there we go. You've got a better title. We're slowly gaining land, but I like that process because I get to choose who leads around me. Arwa, we can't fight for a time, can we? Oh, you're under attack by that kingdom over to the east. Again, I can't fight a religious war. That would be a bad idea. He's got a lot of allies, too. He's currently 63. He's infirm. Hopefully, he'll die soon. If he dies soon, we might be able to strike. The Abbasids are quite strong. Their leader is only 18. They did lose some manpower. That's a good thing. The Byzantine Empire is not doing too much. Over here in Europe, we have what? Four major kingdoms. Well, five. Italy is over here. All right. I think we're doing pretty well. Though I do need more manpower. Let's have a look over here at my hoplites. I could use more. Okay, so I need 90 gold again. Oh, look at that. I'm the head of our culture now. Great. Let's have a look at that real quick. Now, what do I want? We've got Tosseti. Those are my Nubian archers. African dynastic rulership. Interesting. That would take me a long time to pick up, but if I did get it, that would be great. War Campbell's over here. What else do we have? I've got a few options. I could get quite a few things over here. 45 years. Yeah, because of my low learning, 
it's going to take a while, but I'll do my best. My heirs need to focus a bit more on learning. I think we should probably do that once we have more power. What's over here? My boy is rowdy. Good. That means we can make him a military leader as well. I'll educate you. I'll be your teacher. He's only three now. I've got three children total. Ezekiel found again 135 gold for me. Incredibly good. I can't go after you yet. I wonder if I could have you killed. No, I couldn't. It would be way too difficult. If I could have your heir killed, that would be even better. But again, a little bit too difficult. All right. His lands are right over here. Understood. I want you to go find a few secrets over here. As I would like to plot against him if possible. We've done a lot so far. But we've got to make more plans, and I'm very interested to hear from many of you what you think we should do. We have our kingdom, but we're still a minor kingdom. Even that kingdom over to the east is more powerful than I am, largely because of their many allies. I could ally a few people, but look at their numbers altogether. They could overwhelm me. Not to mention, we've got people who want my lands up north. Ahmad, your son will not leave me alone. I wonder if we should try to have him killed. That could be quite difficult. People could find out. But he won't leave me alone. He really wants my lands. I mean, he really wants my lands. I could try to sway him. That's an option too. I've got a high chance to do so. We've got more people down over here to the southwest who do not share our faith. We need to convert them all. I would like to take everything over here. Even if we do end our advance over here at West Darfur. Then after that... I border what? Three other powers? Arwa? We've got a truce for now. Here's another powerful kingdom that I did mention before. So we've got to carefully pick where we want to expand. Their leader is infirm and hopefully might die soon, but I don't know when. His son, I don't know how powerful he's going to be, but we'll see in time. He's got over 5,000 gold. He could hire many mercenaries. I make a lot of money, that's true, but I've been having to spend a lot as well. Thankfully, our land is rather stable. They all have a decent amount of manpower too. Good for them. Well, thank you for watching everyone. Look forward to a new part tomorrow. And as always, until then.